Hi, my name is Andy Cohen and I'm a system architect here at Sitecore and I'm responsible for architecting XM Cloud Deploy. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to log into the XM Cloud Deploy app using device code authentication using our new Sitecore identity platform. We're going to be using the same Sitecore CLI except we have a new plugin specifically for XM Cloud. And now we're going to create a project within our organization. We're going to call it Shugcon or Subcon 20 and put it in the Western European region. Next, we'll create uh, an environment within that project and we're going to name it Dev. Now that the project has been created, we can actually start our deployment. There's a few different deployment models that we have. We can, we can deploy directly from the CLI. We can deploy from our deploy app, um, or we can deploy from the CLI using custom code. And in this example, we're gonna, well, first of all, I'm gonna do it at 10 times speed so you don't have to wait for the four plus minutes it's gonna take. Um, it's gonna do provisioning. It's gonna create all your databases, all your indexes, your edge tenant. Um, any identity clients that you might need, all the resources necessary to run XM Cloud. Then it's going to go through a build step. In this case, there is no build, which I mentioned, and then it'll go through the deployment process. So now that it's deployed, I can click on that link right there on the console or terminal and launch X the XM Cloud instance. You can see Sycor Betty there. Now we're going to log into Sitecore. Let's just give it a few seconds for the launch pad to open. A few things to note here. This is pre-release content. Um, we haven't finished our final designs here for what Sitecore will look like. We have the launch pad that you're familiar with, but we're going to be removing a few things which we don't need. Now I'm going to go into the content editor, let that load for a few seconds here. All right, now that we're in the content editor, I'm going to show you a few things. So the first I want to show you is that what we have installed here is you can see that we have JSS and SXA, two different models of introducing tenants. We have Secure PowerShell extensions, um, as you can see, that enables this functionality. Uh, we also have Experience Edge installed in here. Another thing um, we have is the Azure Blob Storage module. Um, so all your media that you add is by default added to Azure uh, storage containers. And this next thing I'm pointing out here is that um, this is an empty Sitecore instance. There's nothing in the project folder. One of the next things that I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy with custom code and it's going to have um, the code in the project folder after it's deployed. And here, let me bring that up. This is the solution that we're going to next be deploying. And <clears throat> what we have here is a solution. We have two CS proj files, a library and a web app. And the web app has a reference to the library. Nothing special here. In the library, we have a class file, and in, in the web app, we have just a config. And then we also have a project folder, and we have different templates from the basic company Helix solution. And these are the templates that we're going to deploy. There's also a module file, which gets picked up during our deployment, and this defines where the serialized items are. You can see the path there on line nine. So now I'm going to deploy using a new parameter, that same exact, I'm going to deploy that same environment, passing that same environment ID, but this time I'm going to use the upload parameter. And the upload parameter will take everything that's in the current directory and push it out to our cloud portal, our cloud deploy portal. 
And again, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I'm doing something different. And this time I clicked on that inspect link you saw there, and I'm opening up the build tab of our deployment console. And what we're going to see here is streaming the live deployment logs. So this will allow you to see exactly what's going on in your build and if there's going to be any errors that you can troubleshoot. You can see there's also tabs for provisioning, build, deployment, and post action, which will give you also useful information. I think the, the code DOM providers is one of the longest steps here. I'm not 100% sure what all that is in that, but it does take a little bit longer. And now it's going through the rest of the build process. Copying the assemblies. Publishing everything. And now it's running through the items as resources and then finishing up the build, creating a new container image that we're going to deploy. And if I scroll up here, let me just highlight the the items as resources. So these are the items as resources that it created from the serialized items. And there's the list of things. Now we'll go into a fast forward mode, 10 times speed of the rest of the deployment here. And it should finish up a little over four minutes. Close some windows, and there's Sycor Betty. Let's go to the launch pad again. Oh, I forgot. I need to reload the page. Hold on a sec here. There we go. One thing to note is that when we did our device login on the CLI from the very, very beginning, we logged in and it's the same exact single sign-on that allows us to log into the CM instance. And this is just for your organization and just for your user. In this context, we're using an administrative user. And you can see it has actually deployed the items that we had in our custom solution. If I open up behind the scenes here, you would also see the, the test assemblies and the config file deployed along with it. Now I'm going to show you a few other commands. I can run the Sycor Cloud Environment Connect command, passing in the environment ID, and that's going to connect to the management services behind the scenes that allows us to run the classic Sycor serialization commands, the Sycor index commands, everything that you normally would do on the Sycor CLI. Let's do that. And so Sycor Cloud, or not sorry, Sycor index list. Passing the name of the environment, dev. It's going to make a GraphQL call using the management services. And you can see there's the list of indexes. Now we can do Sycor index schema populate. And it's going to run through the populate the managed schema. Now that that's done, let's do a few other commands like uh, Sycor Cloud Project List. This will show us a list of all the other projects we have going on here. Uh, Sycor Cloud Environment List, passing in the project ID. So let's get a list of environments in that particular project. We only have the one that we created. We can. Do it in JSON format, 
in case we're using this from automation tools. And what else can we do? We can get the environment info as well. Let's get that environment ID and paste it in there. So Sitecore Cloud Environment Delete. We're going to delete this one. And I'm going to say no just to show you that. And then we can also do help or get a list of deployments by environment. So Sitecore Cloud Deployment List ID. And this should show the two deployments that we had and that's about all I'm going to show today. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed a preview of XM Cloud Deploy.